How is it going everyone? Today I'm here with my WWE Great Balls of Fire 2017 pay-per-view predictions. Of course, Great Balls of Fire is a Raw exclusive pay-per-view event that takes place live on the WWE Network as well as pay-per-view tomorrow night. And overall, I gotta say, for a Raw pay-per-view, I'm actually excited. Um, honestly, I'm looking forward to the show. I think we're in for a good one. Uh, you know, the build's been pretty decent for the most part. The main event, the build for the main event's been awesome. But, um, you know, the build for everything else has kind of been decent. You know, nothing really too exciting. But with a stack card, with the, you know, matches I actually want to see... Uh, it's hard not to get excited for it. So, Great Balls of Fire, you know, no matter how ridiculous the, the name might be, um, could turn out to be a great pay per view and potential potential show of the year uh, candidate. So, um, I'm excited for Great Balls of Fire. It should be a great show. Um, like I said, stack card, and um, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. So, um, that's probably the first Raw pay per view event that I've actually, I've actually looked forward to, honestly. Like, every other Raw pay per view event, I'm kind of like, out oh, whatever, but this one, I'm actually excited for it. So, um, maybe a first uh, for me to be excited for a Raw exclusive pay per view event, but, um, Eight matches on the card, um, of course, one of them being on the one-hour kickoff show, one-hour prior to the pay-per-view, uh, Neville defending his WWE Cruiserweight title against Akira Tozawa on the kickoff show. Um, you know, not really interested in that match, to be perfectly honest. They haven't done anything to build my interest for it, so it's rightfully on the kickoff show, if you ask me. So, of course, one of the matches being on there, so, you know, the rest of the matches, the seven matches, will be on the main card. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if they added Finn Balor versus Elias Sampson. That's one match that hasn't been announced yet, but it wouldn't surprise me if they do a match on the show, or at least a segment. Um, I don't see, you know, those two not being involved in the show somehow, so um, we, we could potentially be having eight shows on the main card, but uh, as of right now, we only have seven confirmed. Um, what I'm really looking forward to is the Hardys challenging uh, Cesaro and Sheamus for the Raw Tag Team titles in a 30-minute Iron Man match. That's going to be awesome. Um, hopefully this blows away their first two matches. I know their first two matches have been great. You know, payback and extreme rules, but I feel like with 30 minutes and them going at it, um, I feel like they could uh, potentially steal the show and have an uh, amazing match. So I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing that Raw Tag Team title match and the 30 minute Ironman match. Uh, Seth Rollins taking on Bray Wyatt. Who cares? <laughs> honestly, I, I honestly don't care. Uh, the Miz defending his Intercontinental title against Dean Ambrose once again. Um... You know, I'm at the point where I'm kind of just over this feud, even though I've enjoyed their stuff for the most part. And, you know, their matches are usually pretty damn good, but I'm at the point where I'm just like, I don't really care for Ambrose and, uh, and Miz at this point. So, you know, should be a good match, but just nothing really to generate my interest. Uh, Sasha Banks challenging Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's Championship. I'm really looking forward to this one because these two are going to go out there and absolutely tear each other apart, and that's going to be absolutely awesome. So, Lex Bliss and Sasha Banks, that's going to be entertaining, and I'm looking forward to watching that. Uh, Enzo Mori taking on Big Cass. Uh, not sure what to expect. I'm not expecting anything great, to be, be perfectly honest. Um, I just, you know, those two, you know, they're all right tag team. I know they're entertaining, but, you know, in an actual tag team themselves, they're always all right in my eyes. So, them as singles guys, I'm not really too fond of it, and I'm not expecting too much out of those two, at least out of Enzo. I don't think Enzo's going to go far at all as a singles guy, to be perfectly honest. But, uh, hopefully it's quick and short. Um, that's all I can say about that. Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, ambulance match. After what they've been doing to each other with the ambulance on Raw with the segments, you know, with Braun Strowman just destroying Roman Reigns onto the ambulance and Roman Reigns just absolutely, you know, utilizing to kill, to kill Braun Strowman. I'm excited to see what these two do to tear each other apart in this match. I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to top their payback match and I'm looking forward to their ambulance match. It's going to be, it's going to be a joy and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that match. And of course we have our big man event, the big reason to watch this show. Samoa Joe challenging the Beast Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. Talk about a dream match that people have been talking about for years. You know, everyone always thought about, oh, how awesome would be to see Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe. And it's always been a fantasy. But now, it's a reality. And we're going to find out exactly how the match is going to go. The build for this match has been awesome. I've it really enjoyed the way that made Samoa Joe look. You know, for months, Samoa Joe has been, like, pretty much nobody. But this feud with Brock Lesnar has really solidified and established Samoa Joe. And I'm really excited to see where they go with him going forward. Because, you know, win or lose, I think Samoa Joe's a made man. And he's a main eventer at this point. So, uh, the build's been great. I like that they made Samoa Joe a legitimate threat where, you know, people are questioning. Maybe Samoa Joe can beat Brock Lesnar. You know, after him locking Kokita Clutch and Lesnar, him confronting Lesnar. It's all up in the air and in terms of which way this match can go. And I'm very excited to see what direction goes in. So, Samoa Joe, Brock Lesnar... Should be an amazing main event. It should deliver on all platforms, and I'm very excited for this main event. And I'm very excited for the show in general. Like I said, I'm pretty pumped up, and um, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my predictions. Kickoff, WWE Cruiserweight Championship match, WWE Cruiserweight Champion Neville versus Akira Tozawa, 
In my opinion, Akira Tozawa is not on the Neville level, therefore Neville would be my pick to retain the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Don't see him losing it. I, I see him going in SummerSlam as the WWE Cruiserweight Champion. Tozawa just isn't the right guy to dethrone Neville, in my opinion. So the match should be good. You know, I mean, I haven't really enjoyed the build for it, to be perfectly honest, but it should be, you know, good to possibly great match. But kind of result, I see Neville walking out still, the Cruiserweight Champion, and still King of the Cruiserweights. Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt. Now, I don't really care who wins and loses, to be perfectly honest. I can see it going either way. You know, I can see him start building momentum for Bray Wyatt. But, you know, it's Bray Wyatt. He rarely really wins, honestly. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Seth Rollins. Um, you know, I'm just wishing it's a decent match. I'm not expecting too much out of these two. Their match on Raw a few weeks ago, a few months ago, whatever it was. It was an alright match, so hopefully it's an alright match here as well. But um, I'm not expecting anything that spectacular. And I'm just expecting Bray Wyatt to lose again, honestly. So my pick in this match will be for Seth Rollins to come out victorious. 30 minute Iron Man match for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Raw Tag Team Champion Cesaro and Chance versus the Hardy Boys. You know, I want to see the Hardy Boys win the Tag Team titles back because I want to see them face the revival at SummerSlam. But I don't see them flip flopping the titles, so I'm going to go ahead and pick Cesaro and Chance to become the Iron Men match, or the Iron Men of this match. Um, I just don't see the Hardys winning this match and regaining the Tag Team titles. Maybe this is the match that drives them to go broken. Who knows? But I do know this should be a hellacious match, potentially match of the night. Um, this should be just 30 minutes of pure awesomeness, in my opinion. So I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good one. But my pick is that Cesaro and Sheamus walk, walk out still, the Raw Tag Team Champions and the Iron Men. Raw Women's Championship match. Raw Women's Champion Alexa Bliss for Sasha Banks. Um, Sasha Banks should not win the title here. Uh, Sasha Banks has had three title reigns already, and she's done absolutely nothing. And I'm not interested in seeing her win the title again unless she's heel. So, Alexa Bliss will obviously be my pick, uh, pick to walk out still the women's champion. Um, I'm expecting these two to go out there and just beat the hell out of each other, honestly. It should be nothing more than a slugfest. Should be a great match. But um, I don't think Sasha Banks is picking the victory here. So, um, I'm picking Alexa Bliss to walk out of this match still the Raw Women's Champion. Enzo Amore versus Big Cast. Now, honestly, this match should be nothing more than Big Cast washing Enzo Amore. Nothing more than that, honestly. But you know what? WWE's infamous for splitting tag teams and for whatever reason, giving the win to the face rather than the heel. But hopefully it's not the case here. Big Cast needs to win, and I'm, I'm picking Big Cast to win. Like I said, hopefully it's a squash match because, you know, look at, look at two of them. There's no there's no way Enzo's giving him a, you know, a fair fight. So hopefully it's quick and short. I don't want to sit through a long match, honestly. But um, yeah, uh, obviously Big Cast was my pick. Ambulance match, Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. I know Roman Reigns is going to be challenging for the Universal, Universal title at SummerSlam, or supposedly it will be, but... Braun Strowman needs to get the, to get the victory here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Braun Strowman. You know, Roman Reigns doesn't have to get pinned or submitted. All he has to do, get, all he has to do is get thrown in an ambulance, and uh, Braun Strowman wins. So I think Braun Strowman's the best pick to win this match. I think it makes the most sense. You know, Roman Reigns doesn't need to uh, the win, in my opinion. But no, it wouldn't hurt him if he did win, honestly. But um, yeah, this should be a great fight. You know, I'm looking forward to it. Potential match of the night as well. Um, they should just go out there and put on a show stone performance. But kind of result, I do think Braun Strowman will end up throwing Roman Reigns in the back of the ambulance. Intercontinental Championship match, Intercontinental Champion The Miz versus Dean Ambrose. Um, there's no reason for Ambrose to win the title back. I don't think the title should be going back and forth between The Miz and Dean Ambrose. And honestly, Ambrose has nothing to offer for that championship. So Miz should walk out still the Intercontinental Champion. Hopefully this match is better than Extreme Rules match. I wasn't too much of a fan of their Extreme Rules match, but you know, they do have great chemistry and they, they proved that before on Raws and SmackDown Live. So um, should be hopefully a better match than Extreme Rules, but Miz is my pick to walk out still the Intercontinental Champion. And then the main event, Universal Championship match, Universal Champion Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe. As much as I want Samoa Joe to win the Universal Championship, because he's been built up so goddamn well in this feud that all signs point to Samoa Joe walking out the new Universal Champion. I just don't see him pulling the trigger on it. So Brock Lesnar being pick to be uh, to be still the Universal Champion. You know, as much as I want to see Samoa Joe win it, I just don't see him pulling the trigger on it. Uh, this should be an amazing match. I expect both of them to go out there and throw jabs left and right and just beat the shit out of each other, honestly. But um, even though I want Samoa Joe to win, and he should win, honestly, um, I think Brock Lesnar is the walkout to Universal Champion. So Brock Lesnar is my pick to walk out of this, this uh, which should be an amazing match against Samoa Joe, still Universal Champion. I hope you guys enjoyed my WWE Great Balls of Fire 2017 paper predictions. Like I said, Great Balls of Fire is a Raw exclusive paper event that takes place live, live on the WWE Network as well as paper tomorrow night. I'm excited for it. It should be a great show. You know, you have a stack card. You have a great, uh, what should be a great 30 minute, uh, 30 minute Ironman match. Uh, the women's title match should just be an all out brawl. Um, the main event should be spectacular and the rest of the card should be at least good. So I'm excited for Great Balls of Fire, you know, as ridiculous as the name is. Um, didn't expect much when I first heard about the pay-per-view, but you know what? It's going to be a good one, and I'm excited for it, and I uh, hope you guys are as well. 
If you guys like in the comment section below, please leave your guys' thoughts and comments and predictions about Great Balls of Fire. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like below. As always, have a Great Balls of Fire review tomorrow night. I'll see you guys and thank you guys for watching the video. I don't need their blessing now. I don't need their invitation. In a way to shut me down. Wanna take this path of taking. And maybe I've been left out.